On February 13th, 2016, just a little over a month after Wake Forest's miraculous defeat of Alabama in the national championship, Coach Bob Pecknold was killed in an automobile accident in Winston-Salem. This tragedy not only rocked Wake Forest and the community of Winston-Salem, but was also heartbreaking to many people across the United States who had fallen in love with this scrappy underdog Demon Deacon team. In Pecknold's four years as head coach of the Wake Forest Demon Deacons, he turned around a program that had been historically considered a laughingstock and turned them into champions, putting together four of the most memorable seasons in program history. The 2012 season, he took over a team that was predicted to finish dead last in the ACC Atlantic Division and led them to an 11-2 overall record, including major upsets against number 6 Florida State and number 2 Notre Dame earning the Deeks a dream invite to the Rose Bowl, where Wake Forest was able to achieve their biggest bowl win in program history by defeating Iowa. The 2013 season, he led Wake Forest through an incredible run through the ACC, winning the ACC Atlantic Division in dramatic fashion, including a late season overtime victory against number 18 Clemson, earning Wake Forest their second ever trip to the ACC championship game where they were able to defeat their rivals, North Carolina, in one of the most memorable ACC title games in history, finishing with an 11-3 overall record and an appearance in the Orange Bowl. The 2014 season was supposed to be a big step back for Wake Forest, but they were able to put together an excellent season, finishing with an overall record of 9-4, including a big upset of number 3 ranked Tennessee, Wake Forest received an invite to the Independence Bowl, where they were able to earn a one-point victory over Fresno State. This big turnaround and three successful seasons certainly played a huge part in helping Wake Forest achieve the ultimate dream in the 2015 season. Beginning unranked once again, Wake Forest was able to put together a Cinderella season for the ages. After a nail-biting upset against number 10 TCU, and one of the most improbable comeback victories in college football history against Penn State, the Demon Deacons were climbing in the national polls. After their first loss of the season against their rival, Duke, Wake Forest responded and kicked it into another gear, blowing out number nine, Virginia Tech, and earning a close, hard-fought victory against number eight, Clemson. Wake Forest had their backs against the walls against Maryland, but were able to pull off another miraculous fourth quarter comeback. After a hard fought victory against number 20 ranked Georgia Tech and Notre Dame getting upset in their final game of the regular season against USC, Wake Forest was suddenly in the national championship conversation. The Deeks finished the regular season with an 11 and one record and earned a rematch with Duke in the ACC championship. Wake Forest made a statement by blowing out Duke in the ACC title game. This earned Wake Forest the number two ranking and a trip to the national championship against colossal favorites Alabama, who were seeking their fifth straight national championship. The massive underdog Wake Forest Demon Deacon team were able to pull off one of the greatest upsets in not just college football history, but American sports history by defeating number one Alabama 20 to 17 in dramatic fashion to win their first national championship in program history. This both stunned and delighted America who had fallen in love with Wake Forest and were growing tired of seeing the sport being dominated by Alabama. The Wake Forest Demon Deacon team and coach Bob Pecknold had become beloved national celebrities. Pecknold was on top of the world until his untimely death a little over a month later. Pecknold is gone, but his legacy will live on forever. After the incredible 2015 season and the death of Coach Bob Pecknold, Wake Forest football fell back down to mediocrity. For Alabama, the reign had ended, and it was many years until the Crimson Tide were back to the national championship. Wake Forest and America will never forget Coach Bob Pecknold's Demon Deacon teams, and the 2015 season for Wake Forest is considered the greatest storybook season in college football history.